You gotta go wild. Go wild. Go wild. So we're gonna go put wild. a scoop up in here. Monster, shout out to Monster, man. Ooh. You know, go something. Ooh, I might be on the sickle. And the hey. gum. And the gum. Oh my. Look at that stack. What a monster. God, dog, it. I'm about to be on the sick one. Let me see. Let me see this Look one. Look at that stack. You see that stack? You see the stack? Look at that stack. Put another scoop of this up here. Look at, look at, look at, look at this stack right here. Let me see. Man, this stack. Look color look monster. Look at this stack. Ooh, look at that. There you go. My BFFF know how to get me on the sick one. There you go. Ooh. You know, I ain't going to tell you what that remind me of. What I used to put in my little soda water. Look at, look at that. Look at that. You see that in there? Oh, look at those in there. Man, he he always see? you always come up with the best oh, stats. Yeah. Oh yeah. He always right. let's see what he do. Ooh. Ooh. That thing about to explode. <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at on the bottom right here. Look at that. Ooh, that gun. Ooh. Look at that. Where'd the gun go? Look at that, look at that. See that you, you get that little spin. And spin. you got a two one too. Yeah. That's a sick. Let's see how it sounds. Put the mic up to it. Let's see how it sounds. Ooh! Dang! Dang! It's a good kick right there. That's good. That's a good kick. That's good. <laughs> sick. Gonna be Work. Sick one. Work. <laughs> Work. I'm gonna be over right there. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you got a BFFFF. He puts Ooh. you on a shirt and wears it. That's how you know. That's how you Man, know. Nobody else did that. No? Nobody else did that. We nobody real BFFFF. We real BFFFF. Real BFFFF. No money. Somebody said, oh, what? I hope money don't break him up. <laughs> money? Please. Man, we... <laughs> money? Come on, man. We real BFF. We want to see each other billionaires because yeah. we can get the other to half. <laughs> My BFF took his subs. Now I got to take mine. We got the new flavor out right now, too. Sour cherry. Fire. Best flavor I've ever had. Best flavor, hands down. Get your dead game, strengthcartel.com. I, I can't kick off any workout without the dead game. Gotta kick it off. I know you guys, I want you guys to comment below, but you use dead game to kick off. I say, I use dead game before I take a dump. I use dead game before I watch TV. I get on the clicker, ba 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 clicking through channels real quick. Do a YouTube video, you know? I'm typing hella fast, da 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 Putting ads in, I know you guys love the ads. Put an ad, put an ad, put an ad, put an ad, do 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 do. You know, I kick off the dead game. This is what I do, you know? Before I, I even had it right here to say I kick it off with a dead game, I kicked it off with a dead game. Then I did this video right here to kick off my workout again with the dead game. That's just how much I need dead game. I love it. You guys want problems? He's right here, posted. You know, you got the you got the blade? Man. See that? So look at him, look at him, look at him. What? You really? What happened? You got one? Oh, that's the brand? Yeah. It's fire. 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 Kind of like spit fire, but it's fire. Whatever he said. <laughs> what <it is. laughs> oh, Hold on, is that watermelon? Yeah. Oh, can I taste it? Oh, shit. My BFA won't taste it. Look at him. That's a real watermelon. It's right a watermelon. It's a real watermelon right there. You got it when you do it, when you say, you can't just say watermelon. You have to put your lips ah. like this up. Watermelon. Tell me if I do it right. Tell me if I do it right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Watermelon. <laughs> that was right. Watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, cameraman. Watermelon. 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 It's a good flavor. It's all good. Oh, yeah, that one right there. 26. Ah. 
Mexico, Mexico, Tijuana, Australia, <laughs> Nigeria, Bolivia, come on, man, Brazil, come on now, we were, Europe, come on, where my girl from, Croatia, come on, man, they watching us all across the world, man, let me not forget the Philippines, the Philippines are one of our top uh, viewers and fan base and friends and uh, family, you know what I mean, I'm sorry, call y'all, happy family, happy gang, hold on, what's the H and Sign language and the G is, the G is I think like this. <clears throat> that's a gift. With the streets. But that's a God-given gift. Yeah. That's yeah. like in all the books of God, there, there were only, it says, uh, in every book of God it says this verse, there will only be a vast few of you that get life, that comprehends and all that. And when I read those in different books of God, because I read all the little Bible, Quran, all that stuff. Every book, uh, Jehovah Witness, but everything I read. And they always had that verse. That it would only be a vast few of you. That's, you know, smart, intelligent, that 1% they talk about. But a lot of y'all, now that we're giving you this game, you can focus in on being a part of that 1%. Yeah, no, um, with... So like a book I read a long time ago, dog. It's called, uh, don't quote me, but I think it's called something like Big Dog, Little Dog or some shit like that, right? Uh -huh. But when animals have a litter or a dog, let's just say a dog or a wolf pack, whatever the case is, right? You're gonna have the alpha and the runt, mm -hmm. right? And no matter how hard the runt wants to be the alpha it never will it's just nature mm -hmm. right the it's going to be the runt of the litter the right. smallest the weakest whatever there's going to be the alpha the top dog you know but with humans we're not animals like that you know with humans we can reset our brains it's like you know 48 laws of power reinvent uh -huh. us as humans we're smart enough we have the enough resources to become the runt or been born the run and become the, the alpha. Yeah. And that's what this book teaches you. We're human beings. We have the mind capacity. We have everything to become the alpha male. Exactly. You know what I mean? That alpha doc. Yeah. But we're not we're not doc with, with uh, animals. It's like that's you're stuck. Well, that's uh -huh. it. But us say, as men be on the course by God. Yeah. Yeah. But as as men, we, we can change that course. We don't uh -huh. have to stay that. We can And we it's can, funny you say that because yeah. when we look at most wealthy people, they always Oh, I was homeless, I was yeah. this and that, but then they got their mind right and focused and became what they are today. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's the uh, gift that, uh -huh. that uh, God blessed the human race with, you yeah. know? Well, we, we can achieve what we want if we 
put our minds to it, you know? Yeah, so, exactly. yeah, it's crazy. But I read that book. It's such a simple book, and you wouldn't think, but that's what it talks about, man. You know, we, we don't have to stay that. We can, you know, reinvent and well, become what it's we It's funny want you to, say that, because be. earlier before we came here, I told him I was going to uh, not a big reinvention, but I'm going to reinvent myself into, you know, it's going to be a little flashy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a motivating flash. Okay, okay. It's not going because I see it in my comments. A lot of this generation, they can't handle me how the old schoolers did us. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. big boy, sit your yeah. ass down. You're going to be broke. Yeah. But you, we took it as motivation. Yeah. This generation, they kind of, like, it kind of makes yeah. them tuck their tail. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Why you talk to me like that? Oh. Yeah. So I, I'm going to get started motivating more in a more fatherly manner that's of this era because <laughs> my era father be like boy you stupid that's what, so that my mother father stepfather they i don't know how they learned it but they started saying like i'm stupid because i was getting suspended a lot i was class cloud crazy like i am now so they always used to say you you got suspended again you stupid yeah bro them calling me stupid like would crush me because I wanted to be smart and intelligent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it just now, this era now, they can't handle that. So I yeah. got to, come here, let me stroke you, come here. <laughs> Well, it's, it's okay. like, um, you ever <laughs> listen to George Lopez, like his comedy yeah, at all? Yeah. Uh -huh. And like, uh, he'll say like, I don't know, you get a good job or some shit. They can say, oh, uh, good, congratu congratulations on your job. But don't mess it up this time. Like, there's always that, like, oh, you think you're bad? I still whoop your ass. Right. You know what I mean? It's uh -huh. that kind of motivation where it's like, yeah, they, they congratulate you, but they want to keep you humble. Right. That's kind of like what you're doing. Like, come uh -huh. on, you know, you're doing good, but hey, you could do better in a right. way. Yeah. But in your own way, you're speaking it, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. But yeah, nowadays they can't take it right. that way. Yeah. You know, it's like the coaches back then. They Oh, exactly. You got to figure good coaches. I was always told good coaches never tell the player. Um, good how, yeah, you're good. Uh -huh. Like, that was excellent. It's always like, all right, like. You could say good job, but never Do say, hey, this is, one. man, you're doing so amazing. You're, they never give them too much uh -huh. because you give them too much, they're going to get complacent, comfortable. Right. So you just give them enough to keep pushing, uh -huh. but you never let, hey, you're special. You're, you have a talent. You're, you have a gift here. No, you just, good job, good job. It's exactly. more of a stone face. You know, uh -huh. the good coaches would be like that. They don't ever want to tell that special player they're special right. and have that get into their head. Uh -huh. Hey, they get yeah. soft or something. They just get complacent. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I don't right. need to exactly. train hard no more. Yeah. I don't want to. You know uh, something? This is crazy. I just heard it the other day, and I never thought about this way. And um, actually, you know who said it was uh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross was doing, like, I guess a motivational thing. And he said, uh, he goes, I, I learned this from uh, being now. I learned this now, and I heard this from one of my mentors. He goes, like, when you're a coach, or let's say you have a business, you're whatever, you're the leader. Let's say even um, Trent or whoever like is building this team, right? We were building this team. Well, just like in sports, right? Like you have this coach. You can't, the coach can't be more hungry than the player. The player can't, he can't want to win more than the player. The player has to want to win more than the coach. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And once you learn that, the coach needs to go find players that are more motivated than him to win. Mm -hmm. Because you can't have a winning team if the coach wants to win more than the players so the players aren't gonna give out. Right. So you gotta go find players that are more hungry than even you are. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And then yeah. you'll have a successful winning team. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, Rick yeah, Ross was saying. Good. That's what I learned. Yeah. The coach can't be more hungry, more, more motivated than the player. Uh -huh. You'll never win. Right. You can't have this uh, motivated coach and all the players aren't motivated. Exactly. They gotta be more more than uh, than the coach, you yeah, know. Exactly. I was like, damn. I thought about like, damn, with your team or what, whatever. Like, damn, they need to be spot. He needs to be more than me. Uh -huh. He should be more hungry than me. Exactly. We ain't never gonna win if he's not more hungry than me. Uh -huh. You know. But yeah, yeah I, I, I think about it like that. I was yeah. like, damn. That's, that's yeah. Hit the nail on the head right there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, but yeah, it's it like he was saying in business and everything. Yeah. You know. Exactly. So you gotta be hungry. The yeah. players gotta be more hungry than the coach. Exactly. I was like, damn, that makes sense. Cause I just think from playing football, 
What if my coach wanted to win more than me? And hell no, I wanted to win so bad, I'll die for that shit. I'm training, kind of like uh, Spy said this with the Mayweather, and I known this way before Mayweather. I would think like uh, older dudes that play, it's like, hey, you wanna, um, I wanna train when they're sleeping. I wanna, mm -hmm. I would do this shit in football. I would, if we lost a game, I'd be like, Fuck this, I'm gonna go to the gym now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna be putting in work while these fools are partying after their win or whatever. I'm gonna be hitting the weights. I'm yeah. gonna be running sprints. I would do that shit. Wake up early, run sprints, do this and that. That's how I, I was successful in football and shit Same like here. that. Because I was putting in work yeah. while these fools were sleeping. Yeah. And yeah, so I put that today. I saw Mayweather. I was like, man, I've been doing that shit since I was a youngster. Yeah. You know, but I had yeah. guidance to kind of teach me that way. Mm. But um, but yeah, that I would put in work when others were sleeping, partying, chilling, relaxing, whatever. I was putting in work. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Three hundred plus pounds. that called that's our um homage so DMX. i'm doing sign language right this is h mm -hmm. dang g is eight g g is like this oh like okay this, yeah. oh that's even better hg ip gang look at him look at him, look at him. <laughs> what a be strength card sc dude you know i do an ssc yeah. sc oh okay SC. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you real, if you doing real sign language, yeah, we be talking through the doors, you know. Well, yeah. Basically, it, I think, uh, you know, c communicating like that. Uh -huh. I think it's yeah, basic I used to know A B C. Uh -huh. I think some things are different than the real sign language alphabet, but I think it's the same thing. I think was it A B C uh -huh. D E, and then I think F 
G H I J K L and then M N O P and I think this is Q and I think what's R? I think R is just like this then S then T I think it's T and I think this is U and V then what I think W I think I don't think this is W I think this may be W I think that was what you did like this uh -huh. and then this is X Y and then Z something like that who be a F F F F F <laughs> is smarter than mine stronger than mine <laughs> richer than mine who's hey none of y'all gotta know it all gotta know it all baby 100 horsepower vehicle everyone yeah. there 700 yeah they might be sleeping on that. Don't show them that one at the end. They might be sleeping on that. 797, 710, 707, and 710, right? 02. 702. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. What, what's your car say on the dash, by the way? Uh, they, they, all the broke motherfuckers be in the comments. God, he think, because whatever the speedometers say that make the car the best, you right. Do your car say 200 dash? <laughs> you, you know why I don't? Cause over hundred thousand dollars to say two hundred old dads, and you ain't got it yet. So get your money up, work hard. We giving you the game. We teaching you. I just taught you how to go get a trust account. We teaching you how to work. Boy, boy, just taught, showed a video how to make it on YouTube. Yep. We doing a video how to make it on social media. Ain't no excuse, bro. If you broke, you choose to be broke. Don't be mad at us. Get we out here working. Old man right here working out like crazy. Got the youngsters killing them in the gym. I'm letting them kill me for a purpose. Huh? You gotta get it. You gotta get it. Gotta get it. That's, that's it. Any any means possible, we gotta go get it. Oh, I, I, we can't even show them the shoe game. Oh, uh, you killing it. Come on, they can't even see the shoe game. Gotta have the white. Shoe game with the calves with the veins in it. Oh, yeah, look at the calves with the, with the, with calves the, with the veins in it. Uh, Look at with the one little vein right there. Oh, he there. got the veiny vein. Ooh. He got the veiny vein. Oh, yeah. Look at him, Cab. Come on. That's a real Ooh. running back right there, but Oh, you yeah. You better watch out on That's that. That's that pop right there. That's NFL. Go on, let us come do it a tryout, man. <laughs> what they got the. What's in LA now? Chargers, Chargers Rams. Rams. Come on, let us. Let us. Y'all go blow up, man. Y'all come let us do a tryout. We Full should. back, tailback. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> can you imagine that? Then we'll tear anybody ass up. Who the best linebackers out there? Nigga, come on, nigga. We, we get padded up, go on the field now. <laughs> That'd be cold. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be nice. That's dope. Female twins. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we'll be cold. Come, come give us a tryout, bro. We need that tryout. Yeah, put, up, put us up against the best. Linebackers you got and safeties. Let us just give us we going straight through the hole. We're gonna let them know the we go we gonna let them know the route and everything. One on ones. <laughs> one on ones. <laughs> oh the gauntlet. He's going the gauntlet. Oh, that'll be cold. Oh, one on ones, gauntlet. What what else we call them? Man. Yeah, it'd be fun. Man. Or or Who what? I go D tackle. Man. I go D tackle, go against a center. Well. You know, oh, center yeah. or, or, or guard, you know. Yeah, You're ripping. I'd be too big. I, I'm too big. For, uh, <laughs> Look at that. You know he the shit. He said I'm too big for him. Too strong. Yeah, too big. If I if I play fullback, I'd be too big. I heard <laughs> a linebacker. You'd be like what you call it? The bus. Yeah. He he weighed three hundred, huh? The well, bus. Well. Or you know uh, the linebacker. Two, about or, uh, um, what you gonna call it? A uh, fullback. Mike Allstock. Yeah. Remember Allstock. him? He wore yeah, the big yeah. old pad. Yeah. And all style was only about 240, right? 250, if yeah, that. Full back. He just full looked back. big in them pads, but we are big. Yeah, and you athletic. Y'all seen all the videos of this man on Sports Center. You seen me doing muscle up viral. Viral. Yeah, you know, come on, man. That's you see We gotta get back in some calisthenics. Huh? Yeah, they seen us running them stairs. They put it all oh, on Sports yeah. Center. Oh yeah, they love them <laughs> stairs. Come on, man. Go on. We the new, yep. we the millennial. Rob and Big, only we jacked. <laughs> we likable, lovable, athletic, funny, comedic, charismatic, hustlers. And we've been at the bottom before, come on top. All our stuff count, man. We motivation to all y'all that's still in prison that's getting out. Y'all could do it if we did it. We Hell breaking yeah. barriers yeah. out here. 
Yeah, I'm, right I'm, I'm sorry. I'm on this hyphy mud, this gut work gum. Big boy that came out with, he been feeding me all this gum and all that time to bleeding and stuff. Sick. I don't know how to stop talking. We out here getting it. We out here getting it, baby. <laughs> all day, every day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good with money today. Yep, yep, yep. Good money today. Oh, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Yes, sir. We're here to motivate and inspire those who never thought they could do it. And you know, if you're going through any mental health issues, just watch our videos. We go strengthen you up. We go pump you up. Let you know it's a lot to live for in life, man. Hell yeah. You know, depression. Yeah. Fight that depression. Come talk to us. Come in the comments. Go on our Instagram. Something. If you feel like you're suicidal or you know having a breakdown, you're not motivated. That's what we're here for. For the world, man. Ain't nobody like us two right here on the internet and i'm here yeah. to tell you that's right that's right yep and make sure you guys put your faith in god too well it's number one right there so oh yeah hell yeah but anyways appreciate you guys hope you enjoyed the uh the chest workout and also us fooling around we we talked some game earlier too you know about just uh about having the right mentality of being, you know, any type of any type of successful alpha type male, you know what I mean, leader. You could say leader, you know, any any type of leader mentality. We we spoke some game to, and I hope you guys listen in and tune in, man, because it's all facts and it's all steps me and Cali took to be in the position here. You know, it wasn't just also a lot of God gifts, you know yeah. what I mean, things like that. Yeah. But also a lot of hard works, things that you've been doing at a young age, me as a young age yeah. that built us up to be the men we are today. And, and we're continuously, that's the one thing I respect about Cali. He's continuously learning yeah. and being coachable and always soaking up game to this day. He, right. He's on top doing very well, successful, but he's still learning. Oh, yeah. And that's what's gonna keep him climbing to the top higher and higher. Yeah. He's willing to learn, you know, and a lot of people aren't willing to learn. They, they don't even, aren't half as successful as Cali and they're not willing to learn. That's what blows my mind, you know? Even yeah. people around us not willing to learn, yeah. you know, and not soaking up game. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make sense. So if you guys are out there, I, I know a couple people too, they've always told me, man, you go see a success, successful person, go tell them, hey, take them, can I take you to lunch? And go uh, find out what they do, well, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Find somebody that's living the lifestyle that you wanna live take them out to, to whatever, lunch, dinner, and pick their brain. How did you get here, you know? Yeah. Th those, are, those are steps to find out how to be successful. You gotta reach out and surround yourself with other successful people, you know? Right. And that's what, that's what I do. I mean, I personally don't hang around too many people anymore that I don't do business with or that I'm not inspired by or, you know, things like that. So I don't really, I mean, I know you, we don't really hang out with just just to hang out anymore, you no, know what I mean? With each There's other. a reason behind it. You got to use your time wisely. Yeah. It's not offense to anybody. It's just we only have so much time, and we have our families, and we got to utilize our time wisely. You know? Yeah. I take it from Trent too. Most people, if I have a good friend, I like to try and do business with them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just we got to use our time wisely. You know, yeah. especially we getting older, can't just chill like we used to. Exactly. You know? So, yeah. and it don't make sense no more. No. I don't even really have that. Um, I don't have that in me to want to do that no more. Right, Let's just chill. Yeah. Let's just drink, chill, and well. BS about war store. You know, it just right, don't make well. sense. You know, we're on another level. We're trying to, and uh, it's not trying to boast or anything. It's just we got to level up. We got to be men, take care of our families, things like that. We got to hold ourselves to a higher standard than we used to, you know? Yeah, and not it. only that, uh, a lot of people, especially people out there that want to be famous, like we really, we didn't choose fame. God put us in this position. And so for all people that want to be famous, just know if you do get famous, it's lonely at the top. That saying that everybody hear about, and it's, it's a lot to come with this. And a lot of people, a lot of you viewers don't realize, you know what I mean? Me and Big Boy, we might not have a hundred million subscribers, but when we, if you come with us for a day, it's like we do. It's like our influence is reaching a lot of people like physically like when we go out it's crazy just put it like that and so we really got to be conscious of everything you know what i mean we got to worry about security and 
be secure with our family. It's a lot, man. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to stay at this level, but every month, God keep rising me. Yeah. Keep rising crazy. big boy. And so it's a crazy position to be in. Put it like this. I'm more paranoid now than when I was in the street life. Yeah, no, that's a trip. Oh, yeah. Could definitely be a target out there. But, yeah. hey, I'm just I, I'm thankful, man. I thank God every day for being in this position. And I just well, yeah. I know myself, I got to continuously try to use my platform from the right things as yeah. well. You well, know what I mean? So, yeah. anyways, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Tuning in, supporting, well, watching day in, day out. Yeah. And uh, love you guys out there, man. Love you guys. Keep banging.